Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I have a MacBook uh, laptop here, and I'm going to change the thermal paste on the processor. So let's open it up. All right, so model number. A1466. Okay. Using a Torx 1.2. All right, just wanted to point out that there are two screws that are different from the others. These two here, right above the uh, writing. These two here are longer than the rest of them. Let me see if the camera can capture the difference. So as you can see, this one is much longer than this one. And once again, it's this screw and this screw. The rest are all the same. Okay, so let's open the cover. There we go. Now, what do we have? So it looks like the processor is here and the fan is here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six screws, maybe need to remove six screws to be able to remove the heat sink and then clean and put a new paste. Battery is connected here. Anyway, I don't think we need to disconnect the battery for this. I need to remove this connector because it's over the fan you know what, let, let me disconnect the battery let's play it safe so I'm going to start by disconnecting the battery here ok now that's out and I'm going to remove this connector I think this is just con uh, what is it connecting a USB board here to the rest of the um, main board. Yeah, it's USBs and maybe a headset. Yeah. So there's a small tiny board here. And it's connected via this connector to the main board. So I'm going to remove this connector now. One other thing I want to point out is that the first set of screws we removed uh, was a uh, Pentalo 1.2. So that's the one with five corners, as you can see here on the screwdriver. Now I checked the, the board. Now we're going to switch to 
a Torx T5. Torx has six corners. So now we're going to use the, uh, the white screwdriver for the screws inside. I turned on additional light, so hopefully the picture comes out better. Anyway, upon closer inspection, I'm not sure if the fan needs to come out. It looks like this piece here may be independent of the fan. I'm not sure. Anyway, we're going to start with these four screws here. One, two, three, four that are covering the processor. And I'll see if it just comes out by itself. Otherwise, I'll need to remove the fan here. There are two screws holding the fan in. Okay, let's go. So that's the four screws. Let's see if this is going to come out now. I really can't see it very well, so I'm going to disconnect the, uh, the fan. Two more screws. Different length than the other screws. So we'll put them here. Even the one, even this one I removed is, is different from the other one. So the one on the right is different than the one from the left. So this was on the right, this was on the left. We'll put this on the right, this on the left. All right, so now is the fan going to come out? Or not yet? No, I think we have. Yeah, I have one more screw, screw hidden down here. Let me show you. We have, I believe, one more screw down there, which is going to be hard to get to. I might have to disconnect this connector, which is coming to the to the daughter board we spoke about before, the one that has the USB, the USB ports and uh, the microphone. So I might need to remove this to be able to get to the screw. I'm going to do this off camera to keep the video from becoming too long and I'll be back. All right, so I disconnected the, the disconnector and now I can get to the fan, but yet another twist. The screw here is different from the screw here is different from the screw here. So the three screws holding the fan down are, are different from each other. This is crazy. Absolutely insane. Okay, let me lift the fan up carefully. Oh, we have a connector to the, to the board. Well, maybe the, maybe the, uh, the fan didn't have to come out because this is not connected to the fan. Okay, so I'll just put it here on the side like this. And I'm gonna 
lift try to lift that up wait this is connected wait let, let me inspect this close closely uh, closer and I'll be back all right I've done a closer inspection uh, I'm gonna remove the fan so there's a connector there's a connector the fan connector is right here there's a tab that you that you must lift up to remove the connector and then then there's another screw right there inside uh, I'm not gonna make it more visible okay Thank you. I hold it like this there we go so there's a screw right there that needs to remove it's holding the, this part of the uh, heatsink this bracket so I, I need to remove this screw that's embedded inside to remove this let me remove the fan and undo the screw and I'll be back all right so removing the fan uh, flex cable was easy I just lifted up the tab and pulled it out and this screw came out fairly easily also so now I'm gonna try removing it uh, while wiggling it's really stuck on hard on the processor uh, this is the plastic thing uh huh that came loose okay I think we're it came out so the rubber piece goes inside here okay so we have to put it back inside it like this okay the rubber piece goes like a groove here and the rubber piece needs to go back inside this groove here oh can't keep it focused okay has to go inside this groove here and we're putting it back all right let me start cleaning off the uh, the old thermal paste and yes it, it really needed a uh, repasting there's very little thermal paste and it is rock hard Now I'll do something similar to the processor here and I'll be back. Those of you with keen eyes would have noticed that there was a screw here, right here, that went missing. And I spent 10 minutes looking for it and I couldn't find it. Finally, it dawned on me to check the video. and. I noticed that basically the MagSafe connector, because it's magnetic, had sucked it in. So I was able to recover it, and it is right here. I'm, I'm glad I was recording, otherwise this tiny screw would have been lost by now. Alright, so I'm going to apply some uh, thermal paste over the processor. The processor is rectangular, so I'm just going to put like a line on it. And I'm using, a lot of people use this, MX4, Arctic MX4 compound. Alright, so this, this, this. All right, the rest I'm going to probably speed through it. 
because it's basically reversing what we've done before. I'm going to now put the uh, fan connector and secure the fan with the screws. I'll do that offline. I'll be back. All right, the fan is reattached. There we go. And secured with the uh, three screws. Now I'm going to put this connector back and it needs to hide inside here because the next step would be to reconnect the daughter board to the main board using the connector we removed before then it will almost be done I'm going to reattach the battery before I forget to do that later. All right, I think that's everything. Let's put the cover back on and secure all the screws. And we're done. I tested it already, but here we go. Yes, it's a MacBook running Windows. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.